Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica Global Customer Support. I am Jan Nevajala and as part of today's video KB, we will be talking about running MDM jobs using CIF APIs. Coming to Agenda, we have all the CIF APIs required to run batch jobs. Execute batch stage calls a staging batch job. Execute batch load calls a load batch job. Execute batch generate match token CIF API calls the generate match tokens job. Execute batch match CIF API calls the match batch job. Execute batch auto merge if API calls the auto merge batch job. Execute batch auto match and merge if API calls the auto match and merge job. And execute batch group executes the batch group. So let's look at the first API, which is execute batch stage. This API calls the staging batch job. And from the request parameters, we can see that we need to pass table name, which is which is staging table name and which is a required column. And uh, from the response fields, we'll get interaction ID message, which contains the status of request and return code. Now we'll have a look at sample request and response. From the sample request, we can see that we, need to, we provided username, password, ORS ID and table name. Table name here is staging table name. So from the response, we can see that the job has been executed successfully with a return code of zero. Now we'll have a look at the demo of this API. So this is the request of execute batch stage of API and I'm providing username and password which is admin admin and ORS ID you can get from database section in the hub console we'll be left with table name which is staging table name so I'm running the request and you can see that from the response the job has been executed successfully. Next API we have is execute batch load CIF API. This API calls the load batch job. And from the request parameters we can see that we need to provide table name which is staging table name and which is the required field. And we have other field called force update indicator. So if this value is zero then MDM hub loads only the data that has latest last update date than the data already present in hub. Otherwise, if it's one, then MDM hub loads the data regardless of last update date. And by default, it is zero, and this is an optional field. So from the response fields, we'll get interaction ID message, which contains the status of request and return code. Now we'll have a look at sample request and response. So from the sample request, we can see that we have provided username, password, ORS ID, table name, which is staging table name, and four update indicator here is optional field. So we have provided zero, which means MDM hub loads data regardless of last update date. And from the response, we can see that the job has been completed successfully with a return code of zero. Look at the demo of execute batch loads of API. So this is the request of the API, and I'm providing username and password. And we need to provide ORS ID here, so which is localhost MDM sample in my case and you can get this ORS ID from the database section in the app console and we'll be left with table name which is staging table name so in my case it is csgsfa party so from where you want to load data into the PO and force update indicator here is optional field and upon running the request you can see that the job has been completed successfully with a written code of zero. Next if API we have is execute batch generate match tokens. This API calls the generate match tokens batch job. So from the request parameters we can see that we need to provide table name which is space object table and which is a required field. So we have other field which is full rest trip indicator. If this value is one then batch job tokenizes all records in the base object. Otherwise if it's zero then batch job tokenizes only the records present in raw dirty table. So by default it is zero and this is an optional field. So from the response fields we can see that we have interaction ID, message which contains status of request and return code. So from the sample request and response we can see that we have provided username, password, ORS ID and table name which is base object table name here. And from the response we can see that this job has been executed successfully with the return code of zero. Coming to the demo of execute batch generate match token CIF API. So this is the request and I'm providing username and password. 
and security field which is optional you can remove and ORS ID you can get from database section of the hub console and we'll be left with table name which is base object table so I need to generate tokens for C underscore party table and full dust tip indicator if I provide it as C0 then it will only it will only tokenize uh, the records present in the 30 table otherwise if it's one then it will tokenize all the records present in the view so I want to tokenize all the records in the view and upon running the request so we can see that job has been run successfully with a return code of zero next if API we have is execute batch match this if API calls in match batch job and from the request parameters we can see that we need to provide table name which is base object table name and which is a required field and we also have other parameter which is match set name and this is name of the match will set for the batch job in default it is null and this is an option field so from the response fields we will get interaction ID, message and return code so return code if it's zero indicates successful transaction otherwise if it's minus 21014 indicates that the base object is empty or there are no records to match so coming to the sample request and response from the sample request we have we can we can see that we have provided a username password or id and table name uh, which is base object table name on which we want to execute batch job and match set name which is the name of match will set for the batch job and this is ideal in this case so from the response we can see that job has been completed successfully the written code of zero coming to the demo of this api this is a request of execute batch match api and providing username and password and then I'm going to provide or ORS ID which we can fetch from database section the hub console and we'll be left with table name and match set name so table name is basically base object table name on which you want to run match job and match set name is the name of match user so in my case it is ideal and upon running the request you can see that job has been executed successfully next if api we have is execute batch auto merge this api calls the auto merge batch job. and from the request parameters we can see that we need to provide table name which is base object table name and which is the required field and from the response fields we'll have interaction id message and return code so coming to the sample request and response of this api we have we can see that from the request we have provided username password or id and table name uh, that is base object table name upon which you want to execute auto mode job and on running this request we can see that from the response job has been completed successfully We are providing username and password. Well, that's ID, which you can get from the database section of the Hub Console. And we'll be left with table name upon which you want to execute the auto merge batch job. So I want to execute auto merge on C party and upon running the request you can see that the job has completed successfully with the written code of zero now coming to execute batch auto match and merge api this api calls the auto match and merge batch job from the request parameters we can see that we need to provide table name which is base object table name and which is a required field and we also have match set name which specifies the name of match rule set for the batch job and default it will take null value and this is an optional field and from the response fields we'll get interaction id message and return code now coming to sample request and response in the request you can see that we need to provide username password and ors id and table name which is base object table name upon which you want to execute auto match and merge batch of and also the match set name this is the name of match rule set so here it's ideal and from the response you can see that match and merge successful so job has been done successfully 
So coming to the demo of this Exit Batch Automatic Merge API, I am providing username and password here, and then providing ORS ID, which you can fetch from the database section of console. And we'll be left with table name on which you want to run auto match and merge job. So, want to run auto match and merge on party, see underscore party, and with name of match rules that you have to give. So, ideal is the name of match rules that in my case. And upon running the request, you can see that match and merge is successful. So, this job is completed successfully. Now coming to the final API which is execute batch group API. This API executes the batch group. A batch group is a collection of individual batch jobs that can be executed with a single command. Now coming to the request parameters we have batch group UID which is a job group name from C repos job group table and which is a required field. And in the response fields we'll get message regarding the status of job. Now coming to sample request and response. So from the sample request, we can see that we have provided username, password, ORS ID, and batch group UID, which is required field. And here we pro we need to provide batch underscore group dot job group name. And the resume operation is one, uh, which is a, which is an optional field here. So that means it will resume the batch group execution. So and from the request, you can see that execution of batch group has been successful. So now coming to the demo of this execute batch groups of API, I am providing the username and password and ORS ID you can get from the database section in the hub console, so which is localhost mgm sample in my case. And we will be left with required parameter which is batch group UID. So this is job group name in C repos job group table. So connecting to database, you can see the job group name as B1. So here I need to give it as batch underscore group dot B1. And then this is an optional field. By default it will take us one, which is two. So coming to the re uh, response, you can see that batch group execution has been completed successfully. Hope you found the video useful. Thank you.